Hello, Namaskar and a very good afternoon to everyone watching NCRT's live interactive session. I am Simran Singh and you have all connected with us through eVidya channel number 9. Besides this, there are so many different mediums through which you can all connect with us. You can even participate in our live conversations by raising your questions and your queries in the comment section of our YouTube channel that goes by the name NCRT Official. And viewers, for this half an hour, we have a session of English for all class 9 students. And the topic that we are going to discuss today, well, it's quite interesting. It's a poem by Robert Frost. And the title of the poem says, The Road Not Taken. So, are you familiar with this phrase, the road not taken and why are we specifically discussing about the road that is not being taken by people instead of the one uh, that has been taken or chosen by so many people. So, I think there is something related to the title and yes, we are going to discuss the poem and to explain the poem to us, we have with us our expert. So, let me introduce you to Dr. Ashwani Praveen Tatugade, Madam. Namaskar, ma'am. A very Namaste. warm welcome to you. Namaste. Ma'am is uh, currently serving as Assistant Professor from Department of Education in Languages in CRT New Delhi. Viewers in this live interactive session, if there are any queries that you would like to share with us, besides the, if there is anything you would like to share with us in case you have feedback, then feel free to connect with us through this contact number flashing on your screens. It is 8800440559 and you can always reach out to us through the specific mail IDs. For class 9 students, for this particular session, the mail ID is dth.class9 at the rate ciet.nic.in. So, let's begin our conversation and try and understand more about the road not taken by Robert Frost. So, ma'am, uh, well, this title itself, I think uh, it is very fascinating. And why are we actually discussing about this road? What does road mean? So, uh, just providing a gist, what are we going to discuss in the session today? Namaste. Today we are going to talk about a poem which is written by Robert Frost, uh, one of the uh, familiar and most popular poet uh, from American literature. The present poem, The Road Not Taken, is about the choices which we make in our life. And you know, life is our life is a journey. And today we are going to experience this wonderful journey through this poem. You know poem or any literary art that elevates our soul and present poem is also going to enhance, enrich our soul and our experiences even. So, today we will talk about this wonderful poem and we will try to learn something new related to this. All right, uh, definitely we are going to discuss in depth about this poem and uh, we have a name over here, the name of the poet. Robert Frost. Would you also like to mention a few lines about the poet? Yes, of course. Robert Frost, his full name is Robert Lee Frost and he is from America. Robert Frost, uh, he, he is, uh, you know, voracious reader and he loves to read a lot since his uh, childhood. He uh, wrote uh, poems and he is, uh, you know, he is a um, winner or uh, four times winner of Pulitzer Prize even and number of titles and number of degrees uh, on his honorary degrees on his uh, name. His uh, along with this present poem, uh, two other poems I would like to mention here which we must read and we must enjoy. Uh, first one the stopping uh, by the woods on a snowy evening and second one is the mending wall. So, all his poems whenever we uh, read, we get something, uh, you know, something new to learn and his poems provide moral lessons even, okay. And all that's right. about uh, our today's poet Robert Frost. And I think uh, that's the reason why his poems have been included in the textbooks of our students so we can uh, learn more. So, uh, why not uh, begin with the chapter? Yeah, sure. So, as you see, as I told you, I told you our life is a journey and uh, when we, uh, this journey, how can we complete this journey by taking some uh, roads to travel, right now. So, our choices, our choices make our journey and our choices, whatever we choose that is going to uh, definitely uh, define our future even. Okay, so as we discuss the title of the poem is the road not taken and uh, it is really a poet here is talking about the road which is not taken. So, it is something wonderful to 
uh, learn about the road which is not taken and what why poem is here talking about the road which is not taken and not he is not talking about the road which is taken ok. Mm. So, our choices our sustainable choices make our uh, future better and therefore, we must be wise we must be uh, very uh, critical and uh, analytical while uh, taking paths ok and uh, since you know in our daily life also we face many uh, issues many problems whether to choose this or that and the poem is going to provide us answer what uh, should be our choice. So, before going to read the poem I, I have some questions first is that um, what do you think about the choices you made in your life. So, students you may also participate in the discussion by uh, comment by sending your comments in a comment box ok. So, what do you think uh, about the choices you made in your life and so, uh, okay. how the choices are going to make impact upon your life. So, two questions together. All right and viewers can share their answers with us and on behalf of our class 9 students I would have to answer that. The first thing is that I feel great about the choices that I have made in my life and I actually do not have any regrets. Uh, the second thing is uh, which choice has made a significant impact on your life. So, uh, if I have to answer this I there is one thing that I was an MBBS student. I was in the first year of MBBS and I, I, I dropped MBBS <laughs> to pursue a career in mass communication. So, I think uh, that was one choice that has significantly impacted the way or the life that I am living today. That is great ok. And here when we uh, discuss the poem let us start the poem first of all I will read the poem and then we will discuss it in detail. See there are five, four stanzas in the poem and total 20 lines. What poet says the poem opens with this stanza number 1, two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no staff had trodden black. Oh, I came first for another day yet knowing how way leads on to way. I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a yellow wood and I, I took the one less travelled by and that has made all the difference. So, this is the poem having four stanzas and five lines uh, containing uh, in each stanza. So, let us come to the first answer. If you observe the poem, this is the narrative poem and the rhyme scheme also you can observe the rhyme scheme of the poem wood goes with stood and could and both and undergrowth. So, rhyme scheme is A B A A B. This same structure is followed by remaining three stanzas ok. So, what poet is says two roads diverged in a yellow wood. Here the poet is talking about two roads which are diverged, diverged means divided or separated in a yellow wood. Here yellow wood this symbolizes autumn season or this, uh, this season is also called as a season of fall where leaves started falling down ok. So, here literary poet uh, is talking about two roads which are separated in a yellow wood and poet says and sorry I could not travel both. And be one traveller long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. So, here two roads which are drivers poet is at the point where from where there are two roads diverging and poet has to take decision which one he has to select to uh, complete his further journey. In the second line poet says and sorry I could not travel both, poet feels sorry 
poet regrets here why just because he could not travel both roads being one individual we cannot travel two or more than two roads right now so here we have some limitations being one individual being one traveler this poet has to choose one path to complete his journey and but of course poet wants to travel both both paths both roads and next poet says and be one traveler long i stood poet stays there for a long time he stays there and he observes two roads why because he has to choose one and he stays there and he contemplates which one should i take and therefore he looked down one as far as i could poet says and looked down one as far as i could he tries to observe he tries to observe the two roads to where it bent in the undergrowth undergrowth means among the plants and bushes he tries to look these two roads this is the literal meaning of the poem but symbolically it indicates something different so here we have two types of meanings one is literal meaning and another is symbolic meaning okay so symbolically what poet wants to say here two roads diverged in a yellow wood means what two roads here represent two choices poet here is talking about decision making skill poet says there are two choices in front of me which these two choices are different and in a yellow wood symbolically here yellow wood represents a difficult time of life so poet is at the point he is facing a difficult a difficult situation to choose the one road and poet says and sorry i could not travel both at the same time i could not choose both options i cannot take both decisions at the same time i cannot be a teacher and i cannot be a doctor so for my journey i have to choose one path being a one traveler poet stays there poet thinks over that he contemplates he tries to peep uh, in the future and therefore he looked down one as far as uh, he could to where it bent in the undergrowth let us come to the next stanza then took the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted we are though as for that the passing there had own them really about the same if you observe the rhyme scheme again fair goes with where and there so claim and same so fair where there a claim is b fair is a claim b then a where there a and same b so a b a a b this is the rhyme scheme of this present stanza so poet here tells us then took the other he decides to take the other road why because he gives us reason both roads looking the same but he chose the other one and for that why he had chose the other one he gives us reason because it was grassy and wanted wear comparing to the first road the second road was grassy and wanted wear and the second road was calling the uh, travelers to come and uh, use that road and therefore poet says i i chose the grassy road which was untaken by other people though as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same but while passing on that road while uh, traveling through that road poet realized that or that traveler realized that both roads are somewhat similar and there is not that much difference and therefore poet says though as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same both were equally both were same both were challenging and poet has to decide one road from these two roads and poet here tells us that i took the other after contemplating after thinking about that poet has decided to take the other road for what reason because second road was somewhat grassy unwanted wear means the second road he feels that that is the most challenging the second road is untaken by others and therefore poet chooses the other road for himself okay coming to the third stanza and of before our poem, uh, proceeding yes. towards the third stanza i would like request you to please uh, reflect on this aspect that something or similar happens with all of us 
we have different choices to make in life and somehow we also feel that I want this also and I want that also and uh, there is this dilemma where we are in so how to deal with that how do you see that especially for class 9, 10, 10 students they have become adolescents now yeah of course so poem is prescribed with having the same intention because you are in the 9th standard and after your 10th uh, completion of 10th you have to choose your path and this is the preparation this is where you have to make your mind to choose your path and the poem is going to guide you in this aspect as you know in uh, in our life we feel that I want everything I want this also that also and well I think everyone feels that <laughs> <laughs> same but here what is important this decision making skill hmm. we have to choose wisely if you want to be a successful in your career in your life then your choices must be wise right now and your choices are going to make your future and therefore, we have to you know uh, develop that decision making skill also. So, if though we want everything as poet stood there for us some time and he thinks and he contemplates, we have to also take time to think over the choices and then we have to choose wisely. Reciprocate and uh, do you also think that our teachers, our parents and our peers especially they have an important role to play when it comes to decision making for an yeah. individual? Yeah, of course means here uh, our students they are not that much mature enough to take the decision. So, yes. uh, what is the role of parents and teachers that we are here to guide you hmm. and along with we people such a literary pieces like this present poem they are going to guide you as well because I learned this poem when I was uh, doing graduation and the poem has created a great impact upon my personality that time I realized that oh no I have to choose something different which is not taken by others. So, this is going to guide you this is going to you know inspire you as well. So, along with teachers parents uh, poem may also guide you ok, okay? thank you. Chalo. So, poet says, and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I keep the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. Same rhyme scheme again you can observe and note down. So, poet says, on that morning both ways were same, equally demanding, equally challenging and both roads were untouched because it is a morning time. But poet says, I kept the first for another day, I kept the one road which was somewhat taken by others for the next time. Uh, but poet in the next line tells us that he was assured, he was damn sure it is not possible to come back and take that uh, left road again because one road leads to the other. And so poet was uh, saying that in the last line, I doubted if I should ever come back, it is not possible, it is not uh, possible to come back and take the earlier decision or earlier path. And poet says that in the last stanza which is uh, Im equally important one, I shall be telling this with a sigh. Sigh means a deep long breath. Poet here is telling us this story. Poet says, I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a yellow wood and I, I took the one less traveled by. Means here poet is telling us this story after so many years and he looks in the future and he tells us that two roads diverged in a yellow wood somewhere ages and ages hence and he had chosen the less traveled path and that has made all the difference ok. So, he choice he has taken less traveled road that decision has made all the difference in his life. Okay, so, this is the poem and I, I think you have enjoyed it, you have uh, learned something which, which we have to take the path which is untaken, which is less traveled. Why? Because that is going to make a difference in Eva and uh, others life. Okay, and this is the message of the present poem. So, if you have got the poem, you can try to write a poem on choices or you may write a essay on uh, life is made of choices. It is your choice to deal with the poem.
Of course, and as you just mentioned that uh, we have to make a wise choice, but ultimately uh, we can only take the decision and the consequences are not in our hands. <laughs> that's what uh, I think that's what destiny has planned for all of us. Thank you so much uh, for reflecting on this poem and uh, sharing the important or the enlightened pieces of information associated with the poem. And very quickly as we are approaching towards the culmination of the program, a uh, uh, concluding message from your end to all our learners. Okay, so dear uh, learners, you just try to read the poem once again, try to enjoy the beauty of the poem and try to develop your analytical skill, your decision making skill and observe your choices means do not uh, hang in between two things or do not hang uh, in between uh, different choices. Be clear about yourself, where do you want to go in your life, decide your destination and according to that you may choose your path definitely whatever path you have chosen that will lead to success i i i hope for the best yeah i hope for the best and i uh, wish you all the best for your learning ahead thank, thank you. you thank you so much ashwini ma'am for connecting you, with you. us for your time and uh, for sharing this delight with us thanks a lot thank you thank you Thank you to all the viewers who have connected with CIT and CRE for this particular live interactive session. Well, it's a wrap up for this program of English where we were discussing about this important poem that is titled as The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. And we are wrapping up this program of English and stay connected because next up we have our program of signs and we are going to discuss about the matter in our surroundings. So stay connected and keep watching with your channels. We will be right back within few minutes. Namaskar.